Good morning, Rajah Scholars and Champions. This is Mr. Lawson on Friday morning, March 26th with our daily broadcast. First, a shout out to all of our hardworking football team last night who gave it their all. They did such a great job. I'll be posting about 100 pictures this morning so that you can see all of the action, see some of your friends, and for our football team so that you'll have some pictures of you in the game. I got to try out my brand new zoom lens too, which was kind of fun. With that, let's see what's happening. First, we want to say a festive, phenomenal happy birthday today to Juan Garcia and Saila Hernandez Torres. And on our staff in the Activities Athletics Office, Ms. Elva Corral, our uh, Spanish teacher, Mr. Leanhard, and English teacher, Ms. Hadegui. We hope you have a great day and celebrate, but also this weekend, a wonderful festive birthday uh, wish to Ayarin Beltran, Aaron Smith, and our cadet. Um, Captain Colonel Stryker. And on Sunday, we don't want to leave anyone out. A happy birthday to Isaac Escobar, Gael Guzman Guerrero, Jonathan Madrigal Alvarez, Eduardo Morales, Ashley Angulo Martinez, uh, Isaiah Sereno, Berlin Gray, Enrique Lopez, Vanessa Sanchez, and Jacqueline Avila. We hope all weekend that all of you have a wonderful celebration of your special day and eat some cake. Today I want to introduce you to the next person uh, on our staff, and that is one of our pair educators, Mrs. Montalvo. Mrs. Montalvo, you see down here with one of her grandsons, a future Raja that'll be up in the class of 2026. She is uh, herself a graduate from the class of 79. She and I went to school together here. She was in class of 79, and then I was class of 80. And then Ms. Alarcon that I told you about was class of 81. We are all we were all here. She went on to COD and got her AA degree and has been here for 20 years as a paraeducator helping students. She teaches math with Mrs. Schwab and also worked in the Cafe Excel. She's married and she and her husband have five children. And all over on the corner, you'll see some of her family there. Four of them are Indio High School graduates too. Graduates too. Um, you'll see that she loves to travel. She has a dog named Rocket. Oh, and here she is in Paris at the Arc de Triomphe. And up above, you'll see in front of the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower. She loves to travel. She loves to go bike riding, hiking, and camping trips. She volunteers at church. And when her children were small at school, she volunteered at school. That's how she got all of her experience working in a classroom. Right now, she's going to COD, and she's taking a third language. English, Spanish, and now American Sign Language. We are so proud of her hard work. And we want to invite all of you next week to join us. During spring break, it's National Assistant Principals Week. And so I've asked all the principals at all the schools, I've been working with them to help us celebrate. You're going to see it in the newspaper this week. And next week, the city is even going to do a special proclamation. But what I'm asking you to do is to help me next week celebrate. Each day of the week will be a special day to honor the four of our assistant principals. And I'm asking you to put in some social media tags with hashtag APWeek21. And I'll give you more details about that. But each day we want to celebrate. And I'm going to ask students and staff, be sure each day to send an e-card or a text message or an email. Um, write a note, a card. Send your appreciation to each one of them for what they do to help you be successful as a student or staff member at our school. We want to shower them with our appreciation. What I'm going to do is each day designate a day for their honor, and I'll go in the order that they have been assistant principals here. So I'm going to give you a quick preview. You can get a head start to work for all of them, but Monday, since our first assistant principal of the four was Ms. Rodriguez. Monday will be Ms. Rodriguez Day. So get ready to send your uh, appreciation for her direction. I'll announce that each day so that you can be a part. And on the broadcast, I'm going to do a special slide and shout out for them. And don't forget today, Sensations meets at lunch, Lunch Club. And it's the last day. If you want to be in the Renaissance Talent Show, be sure that you fill out the link and then send your performance to Mr. Adkins. Hmm, I need to talk to some of our staff. Maybe we should be in the talent show. And if you want to try out for Cheer and Mascot, contact our coaches. Their names are listed here with their email. The tryout dates are April 19th to the 23rd. Boys, we still need some tennis players. We need a couple more. We want to have a full team so that they can compete. And our joke of the day. Okay, here we go. 
what falls in winter but never gets hurt? Snow. Courtney, okay, let's give you another one. All right, here's the next one. Huh. Where would you find an elephant? The same place you lost it. Don't like that one either? Okay. What do you call a duck in classrooms that gets all A's? A wise quacker. Wise cracker. Okay, enough for the corny jokes. Now that you're smiling and now that you think your principal's nuts, we want to move to our final thought for the day. I like this quote by Maxime Lagassier, and she says, There's something inside that's ready to bloom if you just can care enough. And I know you can. Every one of you, you have something inside, just like those flowers that bloom, you have something inside ready to bloom and to show the world your greatness. You just have to care enough to pursue it. Show that Raja determination and the excellence will come out. So let's do our best. Later today, the next video is coming out for the weekend. I'm going to be sending an email this morning to all of our freshmen that are on hybrid so you know what time to come on Saturday so that you can walk the campus with a tour guide, a link crew tour guide, and find what your rooms are since you haven't been to school yet here on campus. I don't want you nervous next week on your first day not knowing where to go. So we're going to have some special tours on Saturday so you can find your way around and know where everything is. So watch for your emails today. And don't forget, be smart, do your part, wear a mask. I even, you're all going to get a mask in class. I even had mine on last night at the game. And we also have them for sale for our parents. If they want to support our athletics, we have them for $10. But I want you to be safe, healthy, helpful, and calm. Stay safe more than anything. Be kind to one another. Stay classy, Indio. We'll see you guys tomorrow.